Well, have I got something for you today. So I feel like most people are aware that some sort of tuning software or pitch correction software is used on like everything now. All genres, basically. Metal, folk. Now, you might think that can't be because you might be like, oh, there's so much music that I listen to that does not sound like Travis Scott. But even bands like Slipknot, they're tuning their vocals. Oof. I hope that didn't hurt. But they're not doing the same kind of tuning. So I'm going to show you how to manually tune the vocals to get a much more natural sound, but you can still get perfect vocals out of them. So here's a rough demo that I did a while back, and the vocals are a little rough. So check it out with no tuning or pitch correction. Why do I always sing sad songs? Never been to do no wrong. All right, so we want to clean that up. The quickest way is to use auto-tune. There's a bunch of free versions. This one comes right inside of Logic, so I'll just show you this. But the point of this video is the manual tuning, not the auto tuning. So I'll just briefly show this. So you can see it like really warbles around the notes. Why do I always sing sad songs? Never meant to do no wrong. And even then, it's still like kind of missing some of them. Some of them are still just a little bit off basically we need to get way more precise so inside of logic there's a free manually tuning feature so if you hit this little icon up here you can drop down in this menu and here's flex pitch so it'll analyze it for a second once you enable flex pitch here uh, if you de-click this it won't use flex pitch so this has to be enabled right here and we're gonna come over to this clip right here and we're gonna double click it and that'll bring open the track here and you wanna make sure you're on the track, not the file. Uh, and then you're gonna click this little uh, swirly icon right here, the same flex icon. You're gonna do it in this window now and then boom, we got flex pitch on a piano roll just like you would in other paid programs. If we right click right here, it has a little shortcut that we can do set to perfect pitch. Let's see what happens when we do that. Bing. And so when we click this clip here, we can see there's six dots around the edges. And we only really need to worry about a few of them. So this bottom one is vibrato. And you can see it'll take the vibrato out of the note now. You can see that this end part here is swooping up. We don't want the vibrato to get rid of that. So we're going to come into our secondary tool here. And we're going to grab the scissors. And we can actually cut this. Boom. Just like that. Just like we would do it in uh, Melodyne. So now we can just affect this note and just take vibrato out of this. Now that might be a little too toony. Why do I always... That's a little better. Why do I always sing sad songs? If there's something that's off, we can just listen for it. I'm going to reduce the vibrato here on this one. And there's this pitch drift on these two corners here. And watch what happens. I can basically take this corner down which is kind of nice you see that it kind of moves the whole thing up and down I'm gonna go like this and reduce the vibrato a little bit more and you could even cut it right here and then really try and you know move the pitch drift here and then boom I've kind of evened it out now I can take down the vibrato on this if I want do I always sing sad songs? there's little things you can you can fix like this uh, never meant to this big one right here that's a little sloppy let's see what's up never meant to do no wrong you can see where it's reading the note seems wrong so if we cut it right there just like we would in Melodyne we can then set it to the perfect pitch Never meant to do no wrong. that one needed to be moved up let's reduce some of this vibrato here and maybe hold down the pitch drift here and this one you can see it just like dips down quite a bit so let's bring that up bring this down vibrato down Boom. Now you can see there's some weird ones like this. A lot of times it's good to try to do as little with those as possible. Don't do vibrato though to it. If you do vibrato, you're going to like flatten these notes. Um, you could try to separate it, but try to just move it as one piece. Never meant to do no you might just need to use your ears, but you can kind of see the start and end points. It kind of sounds like it's supposed to be one note. So let's see what happens if we flatten it out. Never meant to do no. See, it sounds weird. So we're going to bring it back up. What if we do it just a little bit? Never meant to do no. Never meant to do no. Hey, that sounds a lot better. So now these two together. Why do I always sing sad songs? Never meant to do no wrong. Cool. And in the mix. Why do I always sing? way better now and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Melodyne so there's two different kinds of Melodyne 
the standard version where you scan it in and the Aura version where it kind of manually reads it for you. I'm just going to show you the Aura version. The only difference is the other version you have to click a transfer button at the top and you hit spacebar to scan the thing in. This you kind of have to do the same thing but you don't hit the transfer button you just hit the spacebar for a second and then if you click this little icon right here you'll see it should pop up and look right there. There's all of our notes. Okay so one of the first things that I like to do is to right click select all right click again go to the pitch tool and double click this will make all of the notes that are selected go to their perfect pitch their nearest note now i'll we'll have to go through and make sure because some of these might be off so right here in the beginning i'm seeing that there's this one rising note just like in uh, flex in logic before right away we have the same kind of thing so if we right click we can go over to the right and there's this note separation tool so i'm going to chop it off but you see it doesn't really go where we want it to so we got to chop it closer to here so we can chop it there and then to scoot this point we can click it and drag and that's a little closer but you can see we're struggling to get it exactly where we want it so what we can do is we can kind of just move it to make sure that it's right where we want it to where this top part is in the middle of the note. Now these two humps here I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna cut that one as well and I'm gonna drag over them with the pitch tool like that. Now this one uh, can just come down here I know that. Why do I always sing sad songs? Now I think this note is one too high so I'm gonna bring it down one and it seems like where it changes is like right here which is a little bit high. So I'm going to drag it down as well. Why do I always sing sad songs? These notes down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to separate it. I'm going to scoot this yeah, one up. Never meant to do. The, this looks a little funky, so I'm going to separate those. Select them both and double click. Never meant to do no wrong. Now this one you can see loops down and we don't want to separate this. We want to treat it like it's one note. Um, we could take off maybe this section of it. We don't really need that. So we're just going to scoot this up until this loop is at the middle point of this note here and same thing with this how this is a little high we're gonna pull this down and this should sound a lot better Never meant to do no wrong. now this I think needs to come up here Never meant to do no wrong. that's a little better and we can clean this one up we can probably clean both these up go like that grab them all double click do no wrong. here you could grab this pitch modulation tool and uh, basically that's the vibrato tool and you could go like this but you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get too much of that toony sound do no wrong. sounds a little too robotic double clicking to undo and then I'm gonna go over to note separation tool and then now these are separated and I can put them together like that and even this one falling one I don't want it falling quite that far that's a little too far so we're gonna go like this pull it back up there boom do no wrong. so now all together why do I always sing sad songs never meant to do no wrong and that sounds a lot more natural than if we were just use auto-tune and it actually catches more of the notes than auto-tune would and you might think oh but there's some artifacts in there but when you hear it in the mix those artifacts disappear so check it out Why do I always sing sad songs? Never meant to do no wrong. and then you just get that modern sound basically from here what I would do is I would go on to the rest of the vocals and I would tune them one by one and I would go to these other layers which this is like a higher octave and I would tune that if there are harmonies I would tune those separately and it does take a lot of time and effort but it leaves you with perfect vocals I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, if you could click the subscribe button, that would be awesome. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll definitely answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching. Welcome to my show. <laughs> this is my show. This is my show.